Okay, hi guys. So let's continue uh, salt, s salt and sanctuary. So the last time, I actually made it past one pirate boss. Finally, after many tries, it wasn't too hard, but like the way to the boss was pretty ridiculous. And now we are here in this—I don't know what I should call it. Hmm. Forest-like thing here. I think you can actually jump down there into this poison. <coughs> and it will not poison you immediately, so you can just jump there actually. And we need to go to the left it seems, because we came we come from the right side. Oh, 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 fuck, I'm almost dead. Holy fuck. No, no. Oh, that seems to be rapid poison, I think, so I can just go back and <coughs> heal you at the shrine. Because it will just waste uh, way too much um, 
of the healing potions. Wow, that was close. What the fuck are they doing? Got a red shard from him. Wait, and there's nothing here. That's kind of strange. Oh, there's a... No, don't kill me. <coughs> oh, there's a trap, I can see it. But just fall down, I think that's basically the way back backwards from here. Forest thing. Alright, let's I'm a little bit confused. Mm. Yeah, that's the way back. So we wanna go to the to the left here and take the path once more. Well let's Try to go bottom first because I want to see what's there. Cultic Razor. That should be a new katana. That, no, it's actually a dagger. Ah, nice. It's the dagger that I actually could transmute to, but I didn't. So that's pretty cool, actually. Kind of want to see how it looks like. Hmm. But the Pest Claw 3 should definitely be stronger than this one. I'm curious if there is anything to the left here. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll just die before I found out. Find out if there's something. Oh, there is actually something here. Praise the merchant. Okay. Cleric's kite shield. Okay. You're in my waters. Hi there. You like a drinky? Yeah, sure. You like to cheek out a tavern? Things get fishy? What? I am fond of you. Are you fond of me? Yeah, sure. Hmm. I like you. I'll let you see my things for sale. Let's see what he actually sells. He sells forest fang, poison arrow, poison bolt, pest mat, and antidote. Nothing too special. He oh, he sells the frozen doll. I think I've never found a frozen doll before. I'm just gonna buy <coughs> five of them here. And he sells the Malvar tabard. Okay. And the shoot tunic. Which has ridiculously high poison defense. So I think that's all that is here, yeah. There's nothing here. I maybe should have checked out the, the right side as well, but I didn't. 
But there was also no indication, you know, at least the straps here kinda indicate there that there might be something here. Oh my god. Can I make it? No, I'm dead. I'm pretty dead. I'm pretty, pretty dead here. Like the rapid poison was just way too strong here. It's not too bad because I can just kill the bat here. So okay, now we go to the top here. Oh, fail! Let's just go back and heal. Now I think they really should, or the person who made this game really should try to fix this. It's a little bit annoying, you know, because if you stream it. stream will just break down. Anyway, so we need to pick up the souls again. Okay, it's 8,000. I think I'm, I can level up once at least. Yeah, and we'll do that. And let's look at the skill tree here. Hey, Pinika, how are you? Um, What did I do last time with the skill tree? I'm con ah yeah, I wanted to go for the pikeman free because it would allow me to uh, single hand wield the the reaper. Okay. That's all here. Now let's go back up here. That's the way to go. Oh. Those guys are kinda scary and really annoying. Oh. No. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Did you see that? Ah, uh, the rapid poison will kill me. Oh. Your person is level 87. Hey, uh, Maynard Miyazaki, what's up? Not playing Dark Souls 3? Mm. So where's the bat? Is the bat in here now? No. It's kind of strange. Bat. I heard it. It was to the right, I think. Mm. Where is it? So the bat always has your salt slash souls and actually died in the... What the fuck? Do you see that? They're poisoned. Why are they poisoned? That's really strange. I think it's maybe a bug. It actually doesn't matter too much. It wasn't too much salt, so I'm just gonna try to get over there and kill those guys. They're actually really annoying. But not so strong. I just said you're not playing Dark Souls 3 right now, which is kinda rare because I see you most of the times when you're on you're playing Dark Souls 3. Okay now let's try to not fall down here again. Okay. I think there's something on the on the left side, a secret or so. But I forgot how I got there before. What is the life? No! Okay, now. Hmm. Okay. Those guys are actually really annoying. Ah, 
Ah, okay, there's a... I don't know what this, what is, what it is, but let's just take a look here. A cave or some sort of something. I think that's an NPC. I hope it is. <laughs> no, it's not an NPC. It's a strong guy, I think. There's two of them here. Ah, oh, they're really strong. Fuck, fuck me, no. I remember those guys actually, I, I already encountered them once in another place. There's one more here. Saltless ashes from him. Where is he? Can you hear him? Oh, that's strange. Maybe he's below. Yeah. Oh, there's two of three of them. Fuck me. Four of them, really. But luckily the the katana is really strong, so they're kind of easy to defeat now. What is this here? Well, one thing I should mention. You know, I read that the Xbox. Wow, there's a B here. I'm gonna kill this trap here without paying, uh, drawing too much attention to myself. Um, I actually read that the Xbox 360 version is kind of easier than the PS4 version of Dark Souls 3. Corsair's set. Okay. I read that the X Xbox, sorry, the Xbox One's, the Xbox One version of Dark Souls 3 is easier that, than the PS4 version because bosses seem to have only 75% uh, HP rather than 100% HP. So you have to do all the, the stuff again, you know, on PS4 once it releases because it will not be... Oh my god, bad, 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 bad. Bad, 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 super bad. They had to take literally no damage from me. No, 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 no. No. Wow, oh fuck, I got rapid poisoned. That's super strong actually, and you can barely heal it up actually. Well, actually, it does nothing right now. That's strange. Why? Right. Oh, it's. Actually, I see what is going on. I'm dead, I think. Oh, I see, I see. Now I understand. So basically, the rapid poison, first of all, um, reduces your max HP and once your max HP is reduced you get the poison, the normal poisoning which is pretty pretty strong so it's pretty scary actually You have all the hard bosses left now after the update. Yeah. But still, you know. I have to do it over again on PS4 or PC, whatever you play. Because it will be the easy level one run. And do you wanna be called out as the guy who made the easy level one run? No. I think you don't. You won't. Oh, there's a trap, I didn't even see it.
it's pretty good the game actually. I played a little bit more, you know, I was not so impressed with the game. Didn't enjoy it so much, but the more you play it actually the better it gets, I have to say. Because like, you know, I first started off with the dagger, uh, I can just show you with L1. And you can transmute, um, depending what covenant you go, you have the option to transmute your weapons, to uh, change it basically. And I made now the poison dagger. And he's actually not that strong, uh, the base damage is not that strong, but it can poison the enemies and even the bosses. And the more hits you deal uh, on them, the stronger the poison will also get and the more damage output you will get. So it's actually a pretty good weapon, a pretty interesting weapon. And like, I also got a reaper weapon that's pretty cool, I can show you. It's this one, the wars, war scythe, war scythe called. It's a lot slower, but the range is really good of the weapon. The moveset is also cool. Why is it not working? No, those guys are really annoying. They are teleporting. Frozen doll. Return. So let's switch back to. Uh, <coughs> I think maybe the war scythe is, you know, viable in certain regions, but I kind of prefer the the tucky or the touchy because it's just way faster. Oh, this area is already pretty huge again. So I kind of want to go back first now and explore the other way. Because I think that was only a bonus way, and this is actually the way where you should go. Wait, is that actually a hidden door or something here? No. So at least I already know that last, like, spawning those guys here. And they're pretty strong. Yeah, it's actually not, they're not that strong, but they're kind of scary if you don't kill them really fast. Oh no, he got me, what is he doing? Oh, these are like the witches, a mixture of the witches of Bloodborne and... I don't know, Drowned Locket. Saltless ashes, so they drop pretty rare uh, crafting materials actually, I think. Um, okay, so this is the place where I died actually. And oh my god, what the fuck is going on? And I should take more care this time. Maybe we should go up first here and just pull two of them and then try to kill two of them. Oh my god, look at this. And he's rapid poisoning you, which is really strong in this game. And they're also pretty strong. Well, actually not too strong, but they don't take that much damage from my weapon. Hateful jawbone, okay. Oh, that's the place where I come from now. I see. Okay, that, that's basically the other way. And it both leads here. So... Wait, I wanna go down actually here. Oh my god, that was not a good decision. I pulled like too many of them, I think. Oh, I'm so dead, I think. No, 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 you rapid poisoned me. Now I have to really be careful. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Mm, rapid poison really strong, like barely. Oh, you have to kind of heal twice or so. 
So you can out heal it. Ah, finally made it. Wow. But I lost a lot of my max HP here, so the virulent sit scimitar and two arrows. So the rest of the area might be a little bit harder now. Antidote and stone guide, okay. Maybe I should actually use the antidote, I'm not sure if I can actually use it for rapid poisoning, but I should just equip one. Uh, the antidote graph to cure poisoning. Where's this trap? Ah, there it is. Yeah, that's that's not the only cool area. Like, you know, the the area before was also pretty cool, and I fought a tree of man. That was basically a pretty cool boss fight. You know, cool design. And it gets a lot harder once you uh, progress in the game. Like the first areas are pretty easy, but once you get to the castle, the game really, you know, difficulty really pulls up to another level. Oh! Trap, I can see it here. Oh, this area is already so huge again. Ah, there's a new, uh, new sanctuary that's really nice here. Can I go to the... I can also go to the left here, ah, uh, to the right. It will lead me back to the caverns, I think. Oh. Wait, I have to try something, like, I have this crystal sphere. Ah, someone already told me what it is for. Mm -hmm. So basically there is, like, uh, sanctuaries that are have a... A certain oath on it already, you know, and then you cannot, you kind of miss some options if you want to stay in your in your oath that you're in. And using the crystal sphere actually changes the the oath, so you can keep your oath if the sanctuary has a different oath. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure if I should go down there, but I'm kind of curious. What I can find here. Grey pearl. Okay, I can just go back up there, so it's no problem. It's back to the Haggard's Cavern, yeah. Ah, I see. The Venomous Blades. Ah, it's basically a spell, I think. Basically puts poison on your blade, so it's basically a shortcut back to here. I already, you know, uh, did all of the stuff here, I think, or most of the stuff here. I think there's one more place I can go to after I can actually go through the the barrier thing here thingy. Okay now Oh this place is so huge. Okay, this is dead end here it seems. Oh my god, I died, but it's not a big problem actually. Actually it is a big problem because I just lost 19,000 salt. And if I want to get back here, it's kind of really difficult because of the enemies here. And I don't want to fight them again. So I might even... Another oh, bat is here, that's fine then. So I got all my salt back. Oh, that was close. Almost run into the trap. That ninja guy in wall jump. Yeah, there's like this is a, uh, a special ability that you can unlock in the course of the game. So like the Metroid rolling ball and bombs, you know. So there's special abilities that you can unlock. Like one is one of 
those abilities, I only have two now, is the wall jump. Then there is like another ability, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's... You know, there's basically spe special abilities that you can unlock in the course of the game. The red hair charm and something... Oh my god. A pure charm. Those guys are actually super strong. A soldier's poem, okay. What does the charm do? Like the charm is like a thing for your weapon. Greatly amplifies attack power when the wielder is near death. I'm not sure if that is really good. Ah, when the wielder is near death, so that's basically the, the red... Uh, the what is it called in Dark Souls? The red eye tear? The red tearing or something like that? But i rather be not be close to death in this game. Because it's pretty scary. Yeah, it's pretty much Metroidvania. Uh, Dark Souls Metroidvania. Now there was one more place where I actually wanted to go. But maybe... Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> ah, the bed is here, nice. Okay, now... Oh. Kinda scary. No, not again. Don't wanna go here. Oh my god, I'm dead I think. Oh look at them, like how they chase you. Oh fuck, wow. <laughs> I think I actually died now on the floor. That means that all the salt will be uh, collected by one of those enemies, I think, which is really bad. No, the the gameplay feels really good in in Salt and Sanctuary. That's the pro of the of the game. There's there's some, you know, some s minor hitbox issues sometimes when you fight a boss, but that's not really a big problem because you will get used to it. And the gameplay itself feels really smooth and really good. The only thing that can sometimes be annoying if you want to cross, run along the, uh, you know, if you just want to run to the boss, and there's an enemy, like, in f short in front of a, of a, of an abyss that you need to jump over, or after the abyss, then it's kind of hard to jump over the enemy, or you know, kind of blocks your way, so you kind of have to kill it. That's a little bit tricky sometimes. Because they block your, uh, you know, walk, uh, walking pathway, pathway. Can I just somehow get back down now, actually? I think I can... Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh no, not again. Not again. I cannot go back now. Fuck, I'm so dead here. No, I'm not dead, actually. Okay, I somehow got the... the salt back. So I definitely will level up the salt and use it here. Go the class free. Go for class three pikeman. Why can I not go there? What? I oh, need free. But we can actually solve that because we have one more. I made a mistake once. Where was it? You know, you have like gray pearls and purple pearls or black pearls, and with the 
grey pearls you can actually remove skills that you where you made a mistake and here you can actually see for each uh, you know sk um, skill point that you spend you can actually put three three points in here like you can see there's like two tiny white points that means I put in two points in the same thing just because I want uh, I want to try it so I can remove that yes and now I have one more purple pearl and I can get the level 3 pikeman which allows me to uh, one ha uh, one hand the the reapers because like you know if you want to one hand a level 2 reaper you have to be level 3 pikeman so it's uh, it goes goes downward to say so Yeah, it's really cool. You know, this the whole skill tree. It's like I, the first thing I uh, went for was the was the dexterity tree here. I went there, you know, and you get like class three assassin wielding class class four assassin uh, gives you the ability to wield class four daggers, and finally uh, wield class five daggers. And from there, on you could actually go to the marksman tree, or I decided actually to go to the um, Pikesman uh, skill tree just because I wanted to wield the, the Reapers which are the Scythes in this game and yeah that's what I'm gonna go for next so like class 5 Pikeman maybe we have items here that we can use here no. You can also parry in this game, so it's really like souls, you know. But the parry is kinda sometimes really tough, I can try it. But I need a shield actually if I would want to parry him, and I don't have a shield equipped right now, so I'll find a little safe place here that allows me to equip a shield. Mm, wait, let's equip the shield. Uh, okay. Can try to parry him. Wow, there's a lot of critical damage. Just one shot at him. But I rather, you know, like to single one hand the weapon. Or, you know, not having a shield, so. Dual wield the weapon so it's a little bit stronger. And this weapon scales with dexterity pretty well, so it's really nice. Where I wanted it? Uh, I wanted to go there. Because, oh no, I hope I did not fuck it up now. No, I can still go back, nice. And hopefully get into the room here, and hopefully this thing will not chase me. It will actually chase me. Hateful Jawbone, okay. There's the Stone Leader, which is an item that you can use for the, you know, like at the sanctuaries. Why can I not get up there? Wait, I cannot get up there. That's really strange. Why can I not climb up there? It looks like I should be able to. Like at the sanctuaries, you can actually use those uh, small figurines and you can call merchants uh, warps to another sanctuary and stuff like this you know or smiths and in order to call them you need those small stone figurines and they give you the ability to call them if you find the appropriate one so each uh, figurine stands for a certain you know uh, profession drowned idol I don't really want to fight but I think I have to. 
Like if I would kill the, the fucking bees, this fight place wouldn't be that bad. But with the bees, it's ridiculous. Ah, nice. Flying spider's tusk. Okay, it's a flying spider. It's not a bee. It's a flying spider. <laughs> Okay, bye bye. No, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Fuck me. And now, since I already went to the old sanctuary, I have to go all the way back here. Which is a little bit annoying. Or at least explored everything now, so I know where to go. Can just speed it up and... Oh, there's an item here. Okay, only arrows. How did I get to the other side there? Oh, I already remember. Oh, there's a secret thing. There's a secret here. What? Why did I die there? It was not that... that high, I think. Almost walked into the trap here. Okay, so I'm just gonna run here because it's kind of easy to run past them. I already did like three times now, so. This is basically a shortcut. No, it's not a shortcut. It's what am I talking about? <laughs> I need. I will just run here. I think that's the smartest way what I can do. Uh, and I will also get to the uh, to the new sanctuary because yeah, if I die, I will just start over here and I don't have to do the you know, the annoying part again. Now the enemies also respawn, so they're gone, they will no longer chase me. There's a little trap here. Okay, now this is the way where I need to go. And there's a ridiculous la amount of flying spiders. I think I'm actually... No, I'm not even rapid, po rapid poisoned, I think. Hateful jawbone. Okay, I kinda just wanna pull one of those guys. Hmm. I can actually parry him, I think. Okay, 
not. I thought I actually could guard break him with the charged triangle, but it's not working. Ah, uh, could not parry him. Okay, now he should be dead, I think. Yeah. Oh, that seems... Maybe it was a special enemy. Why is this flying spider not coming out? Okay, there's a lever here. Uh huh? Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, I see. Alchemist Oprone, Alchemist's cover, and the Alchemist's mask. But there's nothing here. Okay, hopefully I can. Oh no, I think I have to go all the way back now because you cannot jump up there somehow. Hmm. Or can you? I don't, don't think so. I can actually just use the bell. No, I actually don't want to use the bell since I already killed the enemies here. Mm. I'm just gonna run here and hope that it will not chase me too hard. Mm. But that's maybe not happening. This is a new area, I think there's a trap. But how does the trap get activated? Don't see it. Uh-huh. Something vanished here. Ah I opened up a shortcut here. And here's the next boss, damn it. That stench most foul. Okay. Oh, he's actually summoning summoning guys here. Mm. I think he might actually be immune to poison or he might not be the best thing to use poison versus him, I think, I'm not sure. annoying. Mm. It seems not too hard actually. Wow, okay. Dead. Oh, first try. Nice.
Oh, the, the flying mouth is still alive. That's Dench, most f fool. Uh, something. I think that's like a boss soul. I just got there. Or does it lead to here? Oh. Is that leading back to the start? No, that's a different place. Ah, there's a guy here. Hey, stranger. You like me, aren't you? Ah, uh, you hunt monsters for the soul too, don't you? Ah, uh, yes. That's what I thought. My hunt led me to this mire. Uh, thought the cave is a blocked passage. Uh, I recognize the barrier though, it's called Redshift. Ah, it's the barrier, the red barrier that we encountered before. Uh, there's a brand that allows its owner to cut through a shift with torchlight. It is a secret guard guarded closely by us blood brows, but these are extenuating circumstances. Would you like the brand? <laughs> yes, of course. Very good. Your hand then. Well, that's a new ability I have here, Redshift brand. I think there was like two or three places with those uh, with this red thing here but see with the eyes of a hunter my people created redshift barrier centuries ago to contain beasts we were hunters of nightmares beastly thralls possessed animals and demonic spirits we sometimes captured our quarry to be held in prisons of redshift the island is full of redshift barriers but i didn't place them I don't know how to build redshift. I don't think anyone does anymore. The secret died generations ago. This, this island draws people from so many places and times? Question mark. And fellow blood bro must have been here from centuries ago. Hunt fiercely, friend. I think that's the last part of the dialogue. Yeah. So what's this thing here? Ah, yeah. Now I can actually use it here. Uh, with the torch, and I can go through it with the torch. I need I need torch basically. If I don't have, oh, this looks like the starting part of the game. Wait, is this the starting part of the game? I'm not sure. Where does this lead to? Secret way here. beyond the mire. Oh, it looks like an enemy. I don't want to fight enemies now, I'm just trying to look for a sanctuary. And I think there was one more way in, in the mire. Wait, can I not get back there? That's stupid, come on. Please, let me get back there. No! No! Ah, I can actually. Wow, great, I killed myself. Lost 23,000 salt, so I don't want to die here. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, I was already close. Okay, we'll just pass through the enemies here. And hope that I can outrun them, though I think I can't. Oh, actually I can, I think. Like there were a couple of different ways here. Oh, there's the bed here where I died. So this is the other way, so there's not too many different ways I think I can go, actually. Oh, there was one more item here. So good, I went here. It's the mossy ring. Ah, oh, the mossy ring. I have the mossy charm. Maybe it gives me attack speed. This increases stamina regeneration rate. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, we don't need anti-poison damage now, or anti-poison or poison defense now. Now, if I knew where to go from there, yeah, I think I can just. Go back up there and kill the, the bats and then... I'm not sure, maybe I should go back. I think I will just go back. Because I remember that there was like a... Oh, I was... I'm so lucky actually. I'm so lucky. I think I will go back because I remember there was actually a... Another red barrier, where was it? It was pretty close to here. Ah, I remember it was in the in the caverns. So all I need to do is go back in the caverns, and I can just go back through here. Just remember that. That's a little bit easier than fighting the flying spiders again. So we'll do that. There's the bats. I don't wanna die here because it's a lot of salt actually. I can lose here. There was the, the barrier. I just wanna. What the fuck? Now they're actually attacking the. And. Okay, they're just coming back. I was a little bit insecure now. What would happen? Just gonna make a little toilet break. Just gonna be right back in a second.
back, so I'm gonna have my roll of cigarettes. Then I'm gonna continue. So I'm gonna spend the salt. Um, and what I kind of find uh, the places where those red barriers were, because there were quite some, I know them. Because I saw them in the earlier parts of the game. I think one was actually in the. Hmm. Not sure if one was in the Red Hall of Cages, but at least. I know that def definitely one was on the. There were actually more, I think. Definitely one was at the top right of the screen you know when, when you enter the when you leave the red hall of cages from the top right and if you continue the way there would be like a castle that you could only enter with the with this new torch ability level up three times yes hmm perfect actually only 2,000 left. Let's look at the skill tree. Uh, bang, 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 bang. So we... Pikeman 4. Wanna mock, wait, we wanna make our way to... Pikeman... 3, maybe with a little... Way around and also getting the... Uh, the energy potion here. Yeah, this seems actually pretty good, like this. Okay. So I have to get some strength, you know. I will take it. Just to... Go for the pikeman's uh, class. So maybe you know, maybe there will be a better Reaper at a certain point in the game, and I wanna want to be able to use it. Okay, now let's see if we actually can transmute anything new. Can we also transmute this one, the Torture as well? All would get transmuted to the torture as well, so there's no difference. The Celtic Razor, what can you. The Eviscerator? That sounds pretty deadly. But I would need Diamond Cluster and 3000 salt. That's interesting. The eviscerator sounds pretty hardcore. Shikimairu free, free, but it's a, a weapon for magician, uh, sorceress. Viral and Scimitar already got that, so no need for that. And what about the... where is it? Uh, oh, I don't have the correct upgrade materials for the... Jaws of Death. Great Scissor. Oh, there's so many weapons in this game, it's pretty cool. Okay. Done here for now. I wanna check out the way here that you can go to with the new ability. I guess the little annoying me in this game, so kinda hard to figure out all the Fuck. Fuck you, don't kill me. Guess I have to kill them first.
Oh my guys come to help. It's kinda cool. So here I should be able to use the torch and I should be able to pass it, yes I can. So now what is in here? I wonder. Nothing. No, that cannot be. What? Secret passage? No. Secret passage here. Maybe it's just a way back, you know, once you... Yeah, I guess it is. So there's a shortcut to another... Hmm. That was pretty useless then. Now, I kind of want to find out what happens if I go... Um, where do we need to travel? It's a little bit complicated now because there's so many areas to keep track of the whole air, uh, map thing. I think you want to travel to the Grand's Pass. There I can also use the... Um, there should be... Here I should be able to use the Crystal Sphere. Yes. Nice.